Hi and welcome to another video. Let's talk about what's going on with Miss Min Hee Jin. So if you don't know who Miss Min Hee Jin is, I firstly very much recommend a video I've linked in my description describing her past and present and then come back to this one, but I'm going to explain it in short notes anyway. She is a producer, a designer, and overall a big name in the K-pop industry. She started working for SM Entertainment for groups like uh, FX and Shiny, and continued on even working with groups such as Red Velvet until getting eventually kicked out and she got picked up by Hybe, where she was appo appointed CEO of their subsidiary label, Adore Entertainment. Now, Adore currently has only one active group, and you probably know them, it's New Jeans. So, Min Hee Jin is the overall chief creative director and has full, as far as we know, full creative control over New Jeans' music, concept, and overall brand identity. Uh, what is going on with her that I'm talking about her again? Well, it has come out in the news that Hybe is reportedly asking Miss Min Hee Jin to step down as the CEO of Adore because she threatened to take over Adore and move it to be its own separate company. Those rumors have not been denied nor confirmed. Min Hee Jin denied them, but the CEO of Hybe said they are true. So we currently, if we're going to be objective, don't know who to believe. New Jeans are one of Hybe's currently most successful groups and are definitely leading the fifth gen. Even though they are technically fourth generation, they've set up the foundation of fifth gen as it is, and we cannot deny her, them that. But Min Hee Jin herself is a very controversial figure, and it's very difficult to defend anything she has done, even though the concept of New Jeans is incredibly genius. The reason this conflict is now happening is because Min Hee Jin is accusing B-Lift, another subsidiary label of HYBE. B-Lift is home of BTS, TXT, and now of Islet. She accuses Islet, which I've talked about before and many people have, of copying New Jeans because of their incredibly similar style uh, of songs and overall even the styling, even if we ignore the fashion sense of the styling i mean the makeup the hair it is pretty similar i would not want to be on the side of min Hijin, but i am the first to admit that there are definitely similarities between new jeans and eyelet see she has decided to speak up basically about how uh, she thinks, in her opinion that eyelet is copying new jeans and she has accused other groups of doing so TWS, another group under HYBE, a new boy group, and even RISE, who have been accused of copying New Jeans multiple times by now for their Love 119, even for their concept photo shoots, and for filming in Portugal at the same place that New Jeans did. Well, most of these accusations are quite silly. It's different when they come from a mouth of a bunny, and it's different when they come out of the mouth of the CEO of New Jeans and Adore herself. There is a big difference in power structures and her saying that obviously upset the CEO of HYBE. Now there are many more rumors but I will not fuel them further by talking about them simply because I don't think that rumors are what's currently important. There are rumors that she said uh, that Bang Tang copied her to create the Bang Tang boys and that he created BTS under the influence of Min Hee Jin. There are rumors that that's not actually true and that Min Hee Jin is here the good guy or that she's the evil guy. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I just wanted this video to be a bit more of a clearance on what Min Hee Jin has done and why this is happening that is happening currently. It stated that Min Hee Jin only owns about 20% of shares of Adore as a company and that Hybe owns the other 80% of the shares. Now, Min Hee Jin is, has been accused of stealing confidential information from Hybe and overall just stealing reports and sharing them in hopes of gaining advantage over Hybe in court. And it's a very confusing, but I'm going to read you the statement of, to read you Min Hee Jin's statement. It says, hello, this is Adore Company. Ador is publicly addressing the incident of Violet copying New Jeans to protect our artists, New Jeans, from healthy development for the music industry 
of culture in Korea. Hybe operates a multi-label system of various labels independently create their music and pursue cultural diversity. Ador is one of those labels. Ironically, Ador and our angels see New Jeans' cultural achievements are being the most severely infringed upon by Hybe. Belift Lab, one of Hybe's labels, debuted a five-member group Islet in March in this year. After Islet's teaser photos were released, explosive reactions spread online, said I thought it was New Jeans. Islet is copying New Jeans in all aspects, entertainment activities including hair, makeup, clothing, choreography, photo, videos, and even appearances. Islet is being assembled as Minhijinless New Jeans. It's truly a shameful situation. Hybe, claim, Hybe chairman Bang Si Hyuk produced Islet's debut album. The copying of New Jeans by Islet was not done independently by b Lab, but also involves Hybe. Hybe, a leading company in K-pop, is being blinded by short-term profits and is mass-producing unoriginality by copying successful control, cultural content without hesitation. New Jeans is currently preparing for a comeback in May. However, Islet has caused New Jeans to be brought up where they are not promoting at the moment. The acceptance of an imitation has caused New Jeans' image to be consumed and has caused concern and fatigue to fans. The public was a necessary involvement in dispute. The main culprit who created the situation was Hybe and Belift Labs, but the damage caused is entirely on Ador and New Jeans. Their reactions it is understood that I is similar to New Jeans as they are both under Hybe labels. Some even think Ador and New Jeans have allowed their consistent dissimilarity. However, these reactions are clearly a misunderstanding and we want to clarify this. A multi-label system is a system for each label to independently create the music they want, not a system to give indulgence to other labels to copy the cultural achievements of another label just because they are affiliated labels. And Ador has never allowed or given consent to anyone, including Hybe and Belift Lab, to copy New Jeans achievements. Ador does not want New Jeans and Islet to be associated in any way. We have no attention of tolerating promotions such as groups being siblings groups just because they are debuted under Hybe labels. Ador has officially registered the issue to copy to copying incident has severe behaviors taken by Hybe against New Jeans to Hybe and Belift Lab. However, Hybe and Belift Lab did not admit their wrongdoings as they were busy making excuses, delaying concrete answers. Admit this, Hybe suddenly informed today, April 22, 2024, that they would suspend and dis dismiss CEO Min Hijin from her duties, saying it's concerned that CEO would uh, severely damage Adora's corporate value. At the same time, they are attempting a ridiculous media play such as that CEO Min Hijin tried to seize management rights. It is incomprehensible how a legitimate complaint to protect the cultural investments over artists New Jeans could harm Ador interest in how it could be an act of seizing control of Ador. It appears that Hype and Belift Labs, along with Chairman Bang Si Hyok, think that simply driving CEO Min Hee Jin out of the company will end this issue without pro providing proper apologies or measures. However, Ador will use all possible manners and methods to protect the cultural achievements of New Jeans that has worked up to prevent further infringement due to copying. We want to make sure that it's clear we cannot tolerate copying and various other unfair actions towards continuing against Ador and New Jeans. Hybe and Belief Labs may try to dilute the incident from debuting and by high-classing the difference between New Jeans and Islet as Islet's activities increase. Misunderstanding by fans and the public may also increase over time. As a result, Ador has decided to announce an official position after sufficient discussion with the New Jeans members and legal representatives. Through this statement, we hope to hype and believe labs will face their wrongdoings and contribute to Korean music industry and culture to their level of fervent contemplation and creation while respecting other cultural achievements. Thank you, Ador Entertainment. So what I've just read was a very complicated law statement that Adora themselves released, we assume written by Min Hye Jin and her law representatives. Basically, what she officially stated that are not rumors, because I don't want you to get caught up in rumors, is that uh, she thinks that Islet has infringed and copied New Jeans's image and cultural achievements with their debut album, and that thus Hybe and B-Lift are accusing her of her Minhijin of wanting to take Ador and make it a separate company. Ador here says that that is not the intention of their CEO and that all they wanted to do was protect their cultural rights. Now, if we say hypothetically that Minhijin is not lying, I would be on her side. If I knew that she 1000% was not lying, I would be because, comp uh, because stealing someone's cultural infringement and cultural rights is not a successful way to run the music industry and the differences between already Islet and New Jeans are major but the thing is Min Hye Jin has a reputation of being a liar and a bad person and I do not think she's telling the truth here
While I certainly see similarities between eyelids and Eugene's concept, I don't see enough of them to justify this reaction. And the rumors are way too severe for them to be able to at least not to be partially true. Now, about the situation, I currently don't have what anything productive to say. As only thing I can say is I've read the official statement and everything that has been said at both Adore and Hybe. And I just hope that the girls, the idols themselves, obviously, will come out of this unharmed. I don't think New Jeans will flop, even if Min Hijin leaves. But I also do think there will be big creative differences because... Whether we like it or not, and I usually do not, Min Hijin is a very good director. She knows the public, she knows what the public wants at the current time, and so she is willing to take it if by any means necessary. She created FX, like Shiny, and some of Red Velvet's biggest hits. And while not all of it is her own doing, we ha there will definitely be differences if Miss Min Hijin is forever if Miss Min Hinden forever leaves the door. That was a quick little overview of this little situation and I hope you understand a bit more what's going on now and that you will express your opinions in the comments. I will definitely be seeing you in the next one.